Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super Sham video. And in this video, I'm going to re I'm going to be reviewing a uh, very nice email client that I don't think has received any good attention, but I think it should because it's really nice. Okay, so it's called Zimbra and it's by uh, VMware. And um it's called Zimbra Desktop and it's a mail client. And I thought I'd make a, another video about mail clients since my other uh Thunderbird video I said that you know they were stopping development, which was true. So if you are uh, if you like software uh, email clients, you really don't have many good options because Thunderbird doesn't have any features that Outlook does, and Outlook is like pretty expensive. So uh, Zimbra is free, and yeah, I think it has a lot of really really nice features. So here you have your uh, mail. Like this is just one of the features of it. That's what's called Zimbra Desktop. It's like encompasses the entire desktop thing. So uh, this is just one. This is the mail section of it. So you know you can look at all your uh, emails and um, just like that. So you have your emails here, and uh, in this uh, corner you have your you know calendar. And if I uh, hover over one, it says, "Oh no appointments. Oh look, I have no appointments. Oh look, I have no." Anyway, so then um, you have all your different emails. For example, the uh, NCAA email, March Madness. Is it? I have all these uh, emails that I can just look through, watch, etc., etc., etc. And um, you know, you have your send receive. I can create a new email. Uh, I want to make it to some awesome dude, and I can just send it to, you. and I can attach stuff like that. And I, uh, and I, you can also change the formatting, so you can choose. There you go. So you can choose different fonts, stuff like that, and it creates tabs. So there'll always be my email tab right uh, next to the other tabs. And um, so you have all your folders, you know, stuff like that. Pretty much any other basic mail client will have it. You have calendars too, which is nice. It's built in. And it also syncs your address book with um, your uh, Google or Yahoo or hotmail or whatever so like all my contacts here I can just go through and look at all these people I'm so popular right look at all these people um it syncs it you know my calendar I have everything I need here I don't really use my Google Calendar that much but if I were to this would uh, be how it goes you know pretty big calendar well we have a tasks here again don't really use this stuff much but if I wanted to I could make something up, save it, and it'd be on my Google Tasks when I use that on, let's say, my phone or something. I don't really understand what this briefcase thing is, but it's pretty interesting. It's like a weird cloud thing where you get to upload stuff. It's kind of weird. You have your options. You can uh, choose different themes like Carbon, Lake. I just chose Carbon because it was default. Uh, you have your stuff, default application. Lots of... Uh, uh, editing you can do with the preferences. And the really awesome feature that I don't think any other mail client really has is a social feature. And so, you know, welcome to Zimmer Social. You can add uh, three things right now, three accounts uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Social Cast. Um, for example, if I want to add my Twitter account, I would go to my Twitter page, log in. Etc. Token. I would enter the token here. I click OK, and then I would get all my tweets. For example, most popular, most recent technology. I would get all those tweets here on the uh, side, and I can also just tweet like, "What are you doing? I am being awesome while making a video." I could uh, update this at the same time on Dig, uh, Facebook, Social Cast. It's like Facebook. I can do the same thing. It'll take me to a website, and apparently it doesn't work, but it'll take me to a website, and I will be able to connect my account to Facebook, which is really nice, and here's my email that I made earlier. Um, so I think this is overall a really nice email client. It looks very professional, and you can make it look very cool and crazy by changing the themes and stuff, like Lake. I don't know if this will do it now. Let's try it. So, you know, I just change the theme, it reloads itself. 
Here's a different theme. It looks way cooler, in my opinion. So, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, and you can, you know, you can search, obviously, here for, let's say, uh, uh, let's say NCAA. I can search all these double NCAA emails I've gotten. Or, um, you can search through your contacts as well, so. And your appointments, if you use the contact control. You can also search for people. So overall, a very nice, concise, very clean and nice alternative to Outlook. You can do all sorts of complicated things with this, you know, transferring your emails, multiple accounts. It's really nice. Um, this is just one account, you know, local folders. I mean, it's just LinkedIn and WebEx. So, I mean, again, professional. And, you know, it's just really nice. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, it was a quick uh, review, first look, first impression, stuff like that of uh, the Zimbra desktop. I will have a link to download it straight from we, VMware, uh, from their website. And if you would like to download it, I highly recommend it. It's been pretty nice using it, even though I am kind of unorganized with my email. And, um,. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching this video. Peace out.